coming out here today in support of my family, my loved one. You know, my grandmother still to this day hasn't heard any anything from the West Bend Ridge Sheriff's Department. We do understand that they turned this investigation over to the state police, but as a leader and a, an elected official mm -hmm. in this community, yeah. it is his due diligence yes. to come up and talk to my grandmother. I'm talking yeah. about Sheriff Mike Peck. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you come and you talk to us. You talk to you talk to my aunts. You know we're all going through something right now, and I'm gonna tell you a little something about my own. Mm -hmm. There's nobody else in this world yeah. that can tell me how I feel about my own. Yeah. The media, the media can portray him as anything he wants, but he was my own. Yeah. And I loved him. Yeah. You know. So I had 30 years with my own. 30 years. Those same 30 years, his, his son won't get because his son is not 30 years old. His wow. daughters won't get because his daughters aren't 30 years my old. My. So they're going to go their entire life wondering what happened. But as long as I have breath in my body, we're going to figure out what happened right. in that room. That's true. Right. All right, we're going to figure out what happened. We're going to figure out why nobody came and talked to my grandmother. That's right. We're going to figure out why we have to plan a funeral. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. going to figure all that out today. Yeah. Okay? Last time I saw my uncle alive, he was at a birthday party for his son that he put on. He called me, he said, hey, we need to have a birthday party for Tay. Tay lives in Mississippi, if y'all don't know. So he put on his, he put on his uh, birthday party and he brought all the nephews out there and we played basketball. Let me tell you, I didn't get up because these 30 year old knees aren't the same anymore. <laughs> but let me tell you, we played basketball. We had so much fun. Jessica was there. Jessica was making sure everything was in tip-top shape. All right, everything. Because I don't care what nobody else say, she loved him. She loved him. Okay, we can say whatever we want to say, but she loved him. They can say whatever they want to say about her. They can say whatever they want to say about him. Hey, they can say whatever they want to say about me. Yeah. But we loved him. Amen. All right? And so once we get down to the bottom, and I, like I said, this is not a protest, and I don't want that to get out there. This is not a protest. We just demand. Yeah. Demand. Demand. Yeah. Demand. Yeah. Demand. Yeah. Demand. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So as the spokesman for this family, until the day I die, if we don't get any answers today, tomorrow, next week, y'all know I'm going to beat the street for my own. And I ask everybody out here to stand with me as we beat the streets for mountains. All right. All right. There you go. The next voice you're going to hear is from my grandmother. All right, I want y'all to give her your undivided attention because, as you can imagine, this is hard for her. Amen. And so we, we had to console her. Now, she's a strong woman, don't get me wrong, because we're a strong family. But that's her son. That's her baby boy that she has to bury. Her baby boy. All right. 